Have you ever had a situation where you want to try some Mikrotik feature but don't have a device at hand? Or maybe you simply want to try RouterOS and see what the fuss is about. Well, this is where virtual machines come in. The virtual RouterOS is called CHR, Cloud Hosted Router. To install it in a virtualization application, you must download the CHR disk image from our webpage. Now, you might think that you can just download the ISO file from our page. Sure, that can work but it will not be optimized for virtual systems. It's only 32-bit and it's much more expensive. CHR is created specifically for virtual machines, so it has specific drivers and a special licensing system that is not tied to the PC you run it on. So, let's see how to run CHR in your own PC. Uh, first of all, you must go to our webpage, microtech.com, go into the software section and scroll down until you see Cloud Hosted Router. Open this section up and in, in my example I will be using uh, Oracle VirtualBox. It's a free software that allows you to run virtual machines and uh, it's a very simple software. There are plenty of other uh, virtual machine applications but I will be using VirtualBox. So I have it already downloaded and let's open up the VirtualBox software. So here this is the uh, standard uh, default window. And for VirtualBox, I need to download VDI image. Uh, so uh, here we have a uh, long-term stable uh, and version 7 stable and seven, uh, version 7 testing. So I can just download any of these. Let's install uh, 7 for one stable VDI image. So I'm downloading it here. And now let's go to the VirtualBox software and click on new. Uh, so let's call it router OS and in the type we select other and other 64-bit. Next, here you can uh, assign some kind of uh, uh, memory, let's say it's 128 megabytes for this machine. Uh, then we will choose an existing virtual hard disk file. This is the file that we downloaded. Here we must click on add and on the desktop, here is our CHR VDI file, virtual disk image. Click on open, choose create, and this is our virtual machine. So it's turned off now. What I recommend you, you do now, uh, next is go to settings and set the network to bridged and then the adapter of your internet connection, so my Wi-Fi uh, interface. Now, um, if you're uh, like me and computers sometimes hate you, you might uh, need to reboot your um, computer after installing VirtualBox because earlier I ran into some issues where it wouldn't bridge correctly, but now I rebooted and then it started to work suddenly. So let's click on Start and router OS should be starting in your PC. There it is. So now it's just saying that uh, if you click on your uh, VirtualBox uh, window, your mouse will be captured and you can't uh, go out and you must, uh, must hit the right control key on your keyboard to exit the window because my mouse now disappears. So the standard login is admin, enter, skip the license, Skip the password. Oh no. <sighs> okay, let's just set some password. In version 7 you must have a password. There we go. Now we go into IP address. Print. This is the IP address that uh, our uh, virtual machine got through the bridged um, adapter. Now we can open Winbox and in Winbox we can connect to this address. Connect? No, I assigned the password. This is the new password and I'm connected to the virtual machine. All right, and that's it. Here's my virtual machine. I can do all kinds of experiments with it. Uh, I can use it just as a just the same as a regular router. That's all there is to it.